Hello, fellow weary travelers, and welcome once again to Catledonia. I am Catherine Cat, or any variation thereof, and today we're starting something new. Today we're going to start um, the first part of playing through Subnautica, and with that we are beginning our bi-weekly schedule, Breath of the Wild and Subnautica, so very excited for that. So uh, I'm going to be playing it on the Switch. We'll get started on that in a minute. One thing, just in case you notice me suddenly diving off camera for half a second, that's because I'm going to be using this. I grabbed a little notebook, and you can see I've got my little Subnautica sticker on the front, and of course the uh, absolutely necessary Keep Calm Cat sticker from the poster in the game. And uh, in here I'm basically putting in a page for each of the biomes, and then also... The most important part, we have got the shopping list, quote unquote, section, wherein I will put all of the things that I need to find or that I'm going out to find on any given expedition. So we'll go ahead and get started here. Now that I've shown you exactly why, I'll be occasionally just kind of diving off to the side here. Geek, hello, how are you doing? Anyway. Ah, uh, I've already got it queued up and everything, so oh, let me adjust how I'm sitting here. All right, let's get going. Let me know if it's too loud or too soft or whatever. I'm going to start at about there, at about 77.1 decibels. Let me know if that's too loud, too quiet, whatever, and I'll adjust accordingly. But for now, let's get into it. I don't think we're going to do survival because I have exactly two brain cells to rub together and survival mode has a few too many things for me to keep track of. We'll do the freedom mode where we still have health and oxygen. Because I think that's about as much tracking as my brain can handle in a video game. Y'all think I'm bad at tracking my health and my habits in real life, which I am, uh, that carries over into video gaming, I assure you. Unfortunately. Lovely shot of our, uh, coming unfortunate circumstances here. And I've, uh, refigured my framing setup, because I think... For the voice for the game if not let me know and i will adjust press any button to continue We're not dead. That's a great sign. Ah, uh, seatbelt off, please. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, what did I do? I, I don't know. Uh, everything's on fire, and it's probably my fault. Sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. Oh, the controls are extremely uh, sensitive. But hey, we're not on fire anymore. That's great. All right. Oh. oh. I love the little uh jingle. You have suffered minor head trauma. Oh. This is considered an optimal outcome. <laughs> this PDA optimal. has oh, now great. rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay, nice. All right, yes, we would like detailed survival information. OK, 
Okay. Press this to close the PDA. Okay, I would like to open it again so that... Okay. I may see... Let's see if I can make this a little smaller. There we go. That way I can still see what I'm doing up here at the top. Okay. I, I may be adjusting things a few times as we play this. We'll, we'll see how much I have to adjust. Let's see. Alright, so that's just what she said to us already. Alright. And, ooh. Alright, we've got all sorts of things that we can go looking for. Alright. And now, let's see. Right, you cycle through things with... Okay, alright. We have no resources, so... Let's go ahead and put that away. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Health, health kit fabricator. Yes, we want that. Let's head upstairs. Oh, or rather outside. Well, uh, I totally didn't do that. Def definitely not. Um, the Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Oh, cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Oh, well, that's that's not great. Oh, floating rocks. All right. Well. No land in sight other than the floating rocks here and there, so let's just... <gasps> Whee! Ooh. Ooh, pretty. Okay, let's, let's see if we can figure out... Oh, oh, salvage! Salvage! Eh. Okay, so A to pick up salvage. Excellent. Ooh, limestone? Ooh! Come on. Okay. That's going to take a little getting used to. I'm used to using the mouse. Oh, air, air, air. Like I said, oh, <laughs> I am not great at tracking things. <laughs> it will be a miracle if we get through this. <laughs> okay, we've got some acid mushrooms. Great. What else can we get over here? I think we need a knife for that, which we do not have. Ooh! Fishy! Come here, fishy! They kind of dump you in here with, like, little to no explanation. Ugh. Oh man, this is going to be hard to get used to. It is so sensitive. I may actually turn down the sensitivity a bit. Ooh. But we'll see. Today's episode is basically me getting used to, oh golly, the controls on a different format. Ah! Come back here! Or, well, we could just get salvage instead. We need that desperately. If there is one thing that you always need more of in this game, it is titanium. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> Fortunately, we start out right here in the safe shallows, where, you know, it's relatively safe. Okay. Get some more salvage here. <laughs> so many upsetting noises. Oh, anything here? No. Uh, how about I get air first? Then we can start being overconfident and going down Oxygen. into uh, caves and stuff before we're actually ready. Because <clears throat> I see... It looks like a cave. Yes! There you are. Ooh! Rain coral. Bet you can get air from this. Ah, very nice. Ooh! We should not be going in here. Because I have very little help. And there might be... Oh shoot, there are! There are, there, there are! <laughs> Those things take up so much of your health. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's go back up before we get overconfident and end up drowning. We don't want that. And now that I think about it, we should head back to the pod for half a second. Oxygen. Yeah, 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 I, I know, lady. 
I heard for the first time, believe me. Okay. Ooh. No, 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 no. Stay focused. <laughs> this game is like, it's so easy to get distracted in this. Okay. Oh, oh, Lord help us. <sighs> okay, so saying something about needing repair tools. We'll have to see what we need for that. Go ahead and convert the salvage. Ooh, can make some glass too. Although I'm not sure we need that right at the moment. Titanium ingot. I don't think we need that until later. Ooh, but we can make things. Standard O2 tank. <laughs> Extinguisher pipe, floating air pump. Oh, that's nice. So wait, do I have? Hold on. Do I have? No, I do not have any air tank. Okay. Yes, we want that forthwith. Immediately. Okay. Yay! Yeah, blueprint acquired. Flammables. Ooh, waterproof lockers. I don't know. Stay focused. Uh, let's see. Resources, basic materials. Here we go, tools. The scanner needs a battery and titanium. We'll have to look at battery. Repair tool. Silicone rubber, cave sulfur, titanium. Ooh, cave sulfur. Flashlight. Habitat builder. Ooh. Flares. Survival plan. Okay, so what we really want right now is rubber, titanium, And then what was the other thing? I kind of want that scanner too. Battery. What? What do we... Maybe electronics? Copper wire. Battery. Copper or an acid mushroom, so we need copper. Okay. Alright, we need more rubber, more titanium, copper. That is good enough to be getting on with, I think. Oh, shoot. Actually, no. I think I see that there's a thing there that we can Let's see if there's anything in there. Okay, there's a couple of flares, and that's about all that would be useful to us right now. I think I'd rather have the space to pick up things, though. Because in this version, we're not doing the, um... We, we don't have the hunger meter, because I don't have the brain cells to uh, keep up with that. <clears throat> so, oh dear, it's getting dark. Well, we'll set off anyway. Why not? We got some creepy looking pod dudes over here. Very nice. And it's getting spookier as it darker. Oh dear. Maybe I should have uh, turned my lights dimmer for this. <laughs> what do we do? Oh, we want air. We want air. And I should probably look to see what direction I'm heading. <laughs> it's so easy for you to get yourself lost in this game. Oh shoot, we're headed towards the aurora. I'm not sure that's the best idea right now. There's radiation that way. We don't want that. So let's go. Ooh! Oh, but this is interesting. Lowy. Lowy weeds. Low seaweeds, I guess. Creek fine. Okay. Can, can, I, can I get you? Yes. Okay, cool. Near blueprint Ooh. acquired. Something glowy. What are you? Oh, it's an egg. Ah, we don't want to miss it. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no. No! <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, how bad's my health? Oh, okay, not too bad. 
life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. Further study recommended. Oh, whoa. Did you see that? Look at that. Holy cow. Ah, let me up on the water. Man. Whoa. Well, that's pretty. Terrifying, but gorgeous. Okay. Avoid it. Oh, that one's got glowy spots. Is that normal? I don't Oh golly, there's so many of them. Don't mind me, I'm just going over here. Just picking up salvage and whatever else I can find. Please don't eat me. Uh, okay, there's more mushrooms, but we probably have enough of those right now. Do we really need more mushrooms? Probably. Get a little more air. Okay, yes, it automatically equipped it. I was afraid that maybe it hadn't. But yeah, that's already Detecting helping. Increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage oh to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Dang it, I'm still getting too close to the Aurora. There you go. No, we're, we're going back this way. We need a pump. I know where we'd find cave sulfur, though. Down in a cave. Oh! Yep, there's some. Right, as soon as he blows himself. Oh, shit, there's some. Okay, okay. Protecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Okay. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Well, that's good to know. She gives me, um... Does she give anybody else vague GLaDOS vibes? Ah, there we go. Ooh, what have we got here? Copper, Copper is yes. an essential component of all powered equipment. We need that. Your probability of survival has just decreased to unlikely, but plausible. Oh, unlikely, but plausible. Great. For picking on the locals? So, well, you know. One does what they must to survive. Uh, okay. I should venture back into the caves. Oh dear. Ooh! More quartz. Oh, inventory full. Never mind. We shall come back in a moment. First, we've got to go. We gotta go back here, see if we can build anything. Because I think we've got everything we were going to I think I forgot to list cave sulfur on my list of things. More titanium. Rubber, yes! Give me the rubber. Go ahead and make a few of these. Convert all of our salvage to titanium. Well, we won't do the glass yet. Okay. Yes! Battery! Alright. Power acquired. What is that? Wait, probably in here. Power cell. Two batteries and silicone rubber. Interesting. I forget what those are for, but I guess we'll find out eventually. <gasps> Ooh! Fins! What does this do? Translate vertical limb movements underwater into forward thrust. Enhance swim speed by approximately 15%. Not sure I want it faster right at the moment because I'm having trouble keeping up as it is, but we may want that very soon. Or was the... Ah, there we go. Tools. Yes. Okay, repair tools. We want this. <clears throat> and then... Nice. Definitely want that. Weapons uh, were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Did you, the what now? Do, do we really want to know? Probably not. Uh, scan. Yes, we need that. 
I want to scan all the things. The scanner can be used to synthesize nice. blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. And I still have enough left for fins. I may unequip them, but we'll try. The fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your <laughs> safety, this setting cannot be overridden. <laughs> for your safety. In other words, we've idiot proofed it. <laughs> because we assume that you are an idiot. Probably a safe assumption, but you know. Still a little annoying. Okay. We've still got like a bunch of stuff here. All right. What else do we want? Is there anything else? Well, what we probably... Oh, what we want to do actually is start repairing things. Yeah. Try not to, you know... Oh, okay. We can use the trigger for the tools. All right. Yay! Hey, we've got lights. Diagnostic and outputting results to data bank. Very cool. We've got a data bank. 4546B environment scan. Category 3 ocean planet. Oxygen slash nitrogen atmosphere. Good, we need that. Extensive biodiversity. That means there's lots of creatures here, and we're probably going to die a lot. Safety warnings. May support Leviathan class predators. That sounds unfortunate. Water contaminated with high levels of foreign bacteria. Oh, even better. Uh, planet is beyond Federation space, rescue unlikely. Extra wonderful. It is not recommended to explore this environment without hazardous material suits and extensive support apparatus. Okay, good to know. Arrival package. Okay, that's just kind of telling you how to play the game. Okay. What have we got here? We've got lots of base pieces. We've got ooh, we've got all sorts of. We got an aquarium. All right. Signs. Okay. High capacity tank. We need silver ore. Okay. So I'm gonna put silver ore on the list next because the more, it's frankly. The more um, O2 we can get, the better. All right. Is there anything else we want right now? Oh my gosh. A lot of notifications from our dear, not Gladys, uh, GLaDOS. <laughs> ah. Let's repair the radio. Lovely. Ooh, we, we got a message. This is an aura distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. Okay. Well, that's not unsettling at all. All right. Lemming attack extra bacteria for flame. Yeah, no kidding, right? TD, uh, three, T3D, 3K, and someone taking notes while playing Subnautica. Yes, I... I don't have the best memory. I will forget what I'm doing the minute I leave the life pod if I don't make a laundry list of what we're looking for, so... You know, just to make sure that I don't completely... You know, lose track and go completely off on some unwarranted bunny trail. Holy not, Zelda! We're doing a bi-weekly schedule now. Um, thanks for joining something, Woody. Yeah, we're um, we're doing a bi-weekly bi schedule now. So one week of Subnautica, one week of Breath of the Wild. So we're alternating now. Because I figured, why not have a little variety? Uh, Weavers of Nightmares, the locals here aren't very nice. <laughs> they really aren't. <laughs> oh, that ain't that the truth. You like? Oh, good. I warn you ahead of time, I'm playing this on the Switch, and I've only ever played part of it on the, um... I've only ever played part of it on the computer. And so I'm getting used to the new controls, so... If I seem to be flailing a lot, that's why. Oh, hey, we've got a knife now! 
It's Art and John, John 617. Thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy uh, tagging along with our crazy crew. Eh, can I get this? I want table coral. Gimme. Yes. Okay, I got one piece before it started falling into the abyss. Come back. Okay, got it. Yay. Ooh, what are you? <gasps> oh, that's an egg. We don't need that right now. 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. Oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. Not kidding, some notes will help you a lot. Yeah, no kidding. Hope you enjoy it. The first playthrough is always the most iconic. Yeah, this this game is awesome. Hello, hello. Let's see. Okay. Yes, we've got we've got it. I should probably use this uh what's it called? Yes, let's use this. Okay. Back to exploring. But yeah, my memory ain't great, so I've played this a bit, but I've forgotten a lot already, so. And I do remember liking what I played, so figured, why not play the whole thing? So far, I've loved what I've done. Uh, for those of you just joining us, or just following, uh, just so you know my average schedule, we do art on Tuesdays, generally fan art of whatever game we're playing that week. And then Thursdays is gaming day. And right now we're alternating between Breath of the Wild and this. So. The stream's chat is now Subnautica in <laughs> Refuge. <laughs> yeah. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. Other people who love Subnautica? Sounds good to me. Alright, let's see here. We need silver. We require more silver. We haven't actually got any. Oh, I forgot. We have the scanner. Oh, wait, I should have scanned that. Ooh. Oh, this, this is interesting. Oh. Let's get some air. Let's see. Still haven't figured out how to get the early access versions to work, but you're working on them. Nice. Uh. How's your day? By the way, what do I call you? Oh, you can call me Catherine or Cat. Uh, my username on here is Catladonia. It's a very obscure pun on my name. Alright. This is interesting. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let's scan this before we do things. There we go. Because I do remember scanning is important. Ooh, ooh, salvage. Salvage. Gimme. Well, oh, right after I scan it. Ooh, this looks scannable. What are you? Scanner room fragment. 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. Oh, 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 oh. oh don't let me die now. Integrating new PDA Not data. so soon. Cat it is. Sounds good. Weaver of Nightmares, thank you for the follow! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It connects to a number of okay. small cave networks. Oh! A network of cave no of caves, you say? Alrighty then. We're gonna need so much- Oh, you know what? Let's scan these little dudes. I assume they can be scanned. Yes. Yes. Floaters! Oh shoot, something hit me. What the heck? Who the heck are you? And why are you biting me? I do not like. Okay, let's figure out who's biting. Maybe we can scan them. That'd be great. That'd be grand. Though we may die in the attempt, just saying. Ooh, we could scan you. Maybe? Scan, scan? Oh, if I can aim. Oh, golly. So hard to aim. Okay, got it. Ooh, who are you? You're pretty. Oh, God. Come back here. Ah. It helps if I just kind of hold down the scanner button, it seems. <laughs> 
up for more air. We seriously need to get that other oxygen tank. I have a very vague notion that this area may have silver though. So we're gonna keep diving down here. Already got me on the Discord? Nice. Ryuzaki. Okay, cool. Welcome to the Discord then. Thanks so much. All right, let's see here. We need silver. I must focus. My focus needs more focus. Oh golly, what is that? Oh, is it shooting at me? Oh, oh, oh you are shooting at me. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And oh! You are very large. What are you? Oh, and you're floating away from me. Come back! Did you glitch out? Because you look like you glitched out. Because that is swimming awfully fast. Or maybe I'm just really slow. I don't know. There's some daylight again so we can actually kind of see what we're doing down here. Let's see if there's anything like... If we're going to find things... Oh, to, te to Daddy? That's fine. Nah, I do whatever you want, man. Oh, golly. You do you. Okay. Oh, shoot. Sandstone. Do you have silver? Oh, yes. Uh, copper, which we need. Silver. What is that? I don't like... Oh. <gasps> oh, shoot. Okay, we're out of oxygen anyway. Okay, but there is something down here that's like digging around in the sand. It's freaking me out. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> that is actually the best place for anybody who's curious. That's the best place to um, find out if, like, there's any cancellation of streams or whatever. Or if there's anything else going on. Okay, I think that's the culprit. I think that's what's been... <sighs> yeah, definitely. Okay. I'm kind of low on health. Maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> Maybe I should get another health pack before I start going and flirting with death. Yeah, yeah. That seems like a good idea. Are there any other thingies on here? Ooh! You're... Ooh, what are you? Okay. Ooh! Ooh, fish. Very cool. What is that? 30 seconds. A salt deposit that we can't get. Okay. A very, very large salt deposit. That blasted. If I've got questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you! Yeah, I... I will probably take you up on that. Oxygen. Ah, I know! I know! Oh! We've got some sort of little notification. I think, once again... I think we're gonna move this over here because that's where a lot of these things are showing up. We'll try that. Welcome back, thank you. Ah, the internet. Let's see. Or you know what? Let's head back. Because it looks like there's a message waiting for us. Let's see what all is going on. Again. Ah, the day night cycles are so quick. And yet I continue to go further down. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. Care to elaborate on what a quantum detonation 30 is? 30 seconds. Oh god. I've. I, you know what? I think I've. Oh, no. There we go. I think I want to keep this over here after all. Okay. Onward. Oh golly, it gets so spooky at night. Hey, can I 
Can I scan these? Yes. I don't know if they're of use to us, but can I scan you? No, just a random thing. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what are you? Oh, bladder fish. Interesting. Okay. Alright, up we go. Alright, our little radio thing is receiving re recorded distress call playing back. This is life oh. pod three uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Rendezvous? Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. What rendezvous? Signal location uploaded to PDA. Well, let's find out, I guess. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's switch the color. Red for ones that I have not... Oh, hey. <gasps> yes! And we'll go ahead... Oh. Go ahead and use that. And I think we're going to deposit some of this stuff. Ooh. Let's put away some of our stuff. Go ahead and make a bit more of regular titanium. And I think I saw on here that there were those little, um, whatchamacallits. Ah. What else is here? Sea glide ingredients and mobile vehicle bait ingredients. Well, that's not helpful. But we do want one of these little storage containers because we're starting to collect quite a bit. You know, we'll do two of them. <clears throat> oh golly, it's so dark. Okay. We'll go ahead and deploy you. Oh golly. And we'll deploy you. Alright. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted. Open. Okay. Go ahead and just kind of dump some of this in here for now. Alright, got my scanner, got my knife, got my... Okay, alright. We good. Now, where is that... Oh! Crew reported their sea glide damaged. Okay. Approximately 350 meters away. Let's go check it out! See if we die along the way. Oh golly. Down we go. Into the depths. Oh. More bladder fish. Okay. By the way, let me know if anybody wants me to actually read the... <clears throat> the, um... What's it called? The entries on the creatures and such. Because I seem to recall there's sometimes some hints and such at the story hidden in some of these. Oh, okay, we're getting Dawn. Oh, oh, here it is. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Well, that's not optimal. Oh, oh dear. Ah. Abandoned PDA. Oh, not a capture. Integrating new PDA data. Oh shoot. Uh, here we go. How do you play it? Oh, like that. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power cell rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? I'm sure. That sounds like and that's bad. that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the life point. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, 
I'll be terrified. Needs a blue mount acquired. But you know, needing a distraction. I get that. More copper. But we want silver. Reading the PDA entries can be interesting as it sometimes contains clue about the story or other game lore. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that next time we get back to the life. Uh, the life on. Oh. Oh. You scary. Thirty seconds. Oh, we need that silver. All right. Oh no. We'll go this way. Oh wait. Ah, there's a thingy. Oh golly. Titanium. Okay. That's quite a bit of that old golly right now. Ooh. Okay, more things. It said something about the knife. Oh. What was that? Was that lead? Is that what it said? Or are you? Silver based yes. wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. More copper. Alright. Can you? Huh. Okay. Can't scan the salt. Noted. More copper. Oh! Oh, no, no. One good thing, though. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Run! Oh, golly. Oh, Lord have mercy. Hey! Can I scan you? Probably gonna kill me if I do, but you seem. Oh, golly! <laughs> That seems... Oh! Oh, that was almost us. Oh! Come here. I'm trying... Oh! Oh, shoot. I'm dying again. Oxygen. Dying, dying, dying. There we go. Come back here, you. I require you for my PDA. Hey, can I pick these up? Yes, ow! They can also do unfortunate things to my health. Oh dear. Can I do it before you? No, no. Poison! Okay. Yeah, we're alive. Ooh. We can scan the coral. Why not? Alright, another indigenous life form. Excellent. Hey, I don't think we've scanned these either. No, we have not. Come to think of it, I don't think we scanned these either. So yeah, finding that uh finding that life pod in suboptimal condition is not exactly Ooh. Alright. Oh. It's, it's not exactly encouraging, you know? Alright. We got some stuff. How are we doing on space? We're doing okay. Alright, we can still explore a little more here, around here. Oh, no. Ooh, what are you? You're a neat little thing. A birdfish. More silver. Ooh, salt. That'll work. We don't have much of that. 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. It's interesting that they're picking up the salvage. Yes. 
something is... Something in my memory is... Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the hell? There's like... How many of them were there? Oh my gosh, there's like three of them. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my word. It's come out of nowhere. What's hanging out down here? Are you looking at anything? Or are we just kind of... Oh dear. Okay. What about here? What's this? Ooh. More copper. Oh. Oh. What are... Oh, okay. We're, we're gonna come back down. What are you? Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Go away. Why are you following me? I have no food. Oh, wait, I am the food. <laughs> uh, oh, shoot. Ay, ay, ay. They follow you. Why? I know I look very tasty and all that, but you're, you're just going to have to content yourself with other fish, okay? I would prefer not to be eaten. Oh shoot. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Ah! I don't know what I picked up, but we picked it up. And we're running away. We're bravely turning our tail and running. <laughs> For I am Sorata. Oh dear. And I am drowning. Okay. Up we go, up we go, up we go. So far we haven't had any super close calls yet, which is good. My my oxygen management is going okay for now. My health management, not the best. But you know. Okay. Ooh, what? What is that? There is something in there. Oh, mobile vehicle bay fragment. There, there was something about that in the PDA, right? Ooh, what are you? More titanium. Ah. Anything? Ooh, what are you? Thirty seconds. Oh shoot! Ah. Sea glide fragment. Okay, we gotta come straight back down for that because I think the sea glide is helpful. It's like it can help you travel long distances quicker, as I recall. Oxygen. Okay. A little closer of a call than I would have liked. Still not awful. See glide, but what are you? I see something over there. Oh! Be advised, a common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Thirty oh, seconds. Oh, 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 dear! We're burning and we're dying of lack of oxygen. Oh my gosh. There is a literal, like, volcanic vent under there. What the heck? Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know, lady. I heard you the first time. Believe me. Okay. How are we doing on space? Still good. Okay. Oh, avoid those. Um. Ooh. That looks suspicious. Looks like something belonging to our ship. Ooh! Beacon. Those I seem to recall are... Oh, there's a couple. Oh, there's so many things over here. Yes! We get beacons. Which I assume you can lo uh, mark your location with. I think that's what they were. Grab trap fragment. 
to go try to scan one of those uh, toothy boys. We'll save. Yeah, we'll save. And then we'll go try to scan the scary dudes. Oh, and now the minute I want to scan them, I can't... Oh, wait, there's one. Suggest the Aurora's drag core has reached critical state. Oh. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. That sounds unfortunate. Where's the life? There it is. Let's go ahead and check on some of these entries that we've got. We've got quite a few at this point. And they're saying this is going to explode, which sounds not great. I'm kind of tempted to hang out and see if it actually does. We need more help anyway, so we should see if there's another, uh, what you call it, help thing yet. Congratulations, survivor. You have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data <laughs> indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Oh. Be sure to vary your Convenient. routine for uniform muscle development. I mean, there's not a lot of land here, so I think we'll just have to be content with whatever exercise we can get, ma'am. Oh dear. All right. Do -do -do -do. Yes. All right. Can we get? Or wait. I think first we have to unequip this. All right. Now, can we? Oh, we need glass. Okay. And we have stuff for it just not on us. So let's grab some glass making stuff. I think two of these ought to do it. I can't remember exactly. But I think that should be enough. Oh, shoot. Yeah, sure. Titanium. Glass. Equipment. Or glass. Okay. Yeah, so we need more of the stuff. But two of them. I 
back in. Yes, high capacity tank. Give me all the oxygen. Por favor. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and go up here just in case we can see the explosion if one happens. And while we're waiting on that, we'll take a look at some of these entries. Ooh, first let's see. A rebreather. Fiber mesh and a wiring kit. Pathfinder tool. Deploys holographic pathfinder discs. Used, uh, used to map a way back out of caves or hard to navigate spaces. Ooh, that's good. Graph trap. I remember us getting that. Uses artificial gravity to attract light objects and small creatures. Huh. Beacon navigation aid. Maintains and broadcasts its position. Configurable name. Very nice. That's it for in there, or evidently not. What did I miss? Oh, okay, we've got fiber mesh, which is from Creepvine. The naturally derived wild ice lubricant industrial applications. I see. Okay. We've got all those. Ooh! And I should switch this to... We'll put it as yellow when we complete them. That's easier to differentiate. The green is a little hard to differentiate from the blue. These were last few signals. Okay, here we go. Blueprints, habitat installation, scanner room. This advanced habitat module can trans- oh, nope, should come back. There we go. Can transform a small outpost into a burgeoning science and exploration station. Cool. 3D, display, 3D display in the center of the room stores local uh, topographical data system can scan and pinpoint particular materials. Remotely controlled drones scan the area for up to 500 meters in range. Wall-mounted cameras, uh, camera feeds allow for live control of scouting drones. Upgrade console may be used to enhance the module's functions. Very cool. Limestone outcrops. Unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits. Distinct to this planet, closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. In other words, game logic. <laughs> Sandstone outcrops. Common forest outcrops seem to form a sm around small amounts of precious metals, or otherwise these metals are part of sedimentary buildup over time. Lead, silver, and gold. Ooh. We have yet to get any gold, though. Scattered wreckage. Analysis confirms this wreckage is from the Aurora. Outer layers of the material have oxidized, suggesting it has been heated to over 1200 degrees Celsius. Oh dear. That, that is... I don't know Celsius very well, but that sounds extremely hot and unpleasant. Ah, uh, this pattern is consistent with whole disintegration during atmospheric entry. Salvage of intact portions of Altera vessels is prohibited at legal, moral, and technical levels. <laughs> Oops. Uh, however, scraps such as these may be reclaimed for their titanium content at any Altero fabricate. <laughs> Alrighty then, uh, we may be in trouble with our boss, with our, uh, you know, uh, with where we work, but, you know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to survive out here. Sorry to salvage the remains of the ship. Coral shell plate. This variant of coral has adapted to survive in close proximity to other corals, filtering nutrients from the water and sharing them via a spore-like substance which grows around the base. No practical applications. Um. Table coral. Each disc is an individual colony of microorganisms, filtering nutrients from the water. Growth patterns indicate the colonies are in direct competition for positions with superior current or light. Hm. Unlike other coral species, its structure is malleable, soft, as softly pulsating as it pumps nutrients to its extremities and only turning rigid when it senses physical assault. Oh, so whenever I try to attack it with a knife. Lovely. Jewel-like nodes on the surface are concentrated buildups of rare minerals. The 
coral is unable to process, exploitable in computer chip fabrication. Also, indeed, underscore P, thanks for the follow. Hope you enjoy your time with us and our crazy crew. Oh, we've got, okay, we've got the animals now. Carnivores. That would be, yeah, the stalker. Okay, what do we got on this guy? Stalker, a streamlined, oh, shoot. There we go. The, <laughs> the Aurora's fires are making it a little difficult to read certain parts. A streamlined predator encountered in the kelp forests in weight of prey. Oh, wait, wait. In weight of prey, leaving the safety of the shallows to feed, the stalker likely carved out its evolutionary niche at the sweet spot between speed and size millions of years ago and maybe one of the oldest species on the planet. Okay. Some prey appears to be attracted to titanium deposits, which tends to sharpen and put stress on its teeth. Interesting note. As with many predators, it may be possible to temporarily distract hungry stalkers by feeding them. How can I feed it? I guess I could carry fish around and let them loose. Teeth. The stalker's teeth are unusually hard and fast-growing. Its elongated snout can deliver huge biting pressure to large attackers, while also being used to reach small herbivores seeking refuge amongst the rocks. How tragic. Night vision. Oh, shoot. They have night... No wonder they're attacking me at all times of day. Retinal layering on the eyeball suggests adaptation for nighttime hunting. Not happy with that. <laughs> Dorsal ridges. These ridges can be moved independently to deliver superior maneuverability. Also don't like that. Pelvic fins long and powerful. The stalker has evolved to hunt the fastest of prey. So they're fast too. Lovely. Stalker teeth may have applications in enameled glass fabrication. Okay. Good to know. Herbivores. Large. Gasopods. What are these? Oh, it's these dudes. Okay. Slow-moving life form and one of the larger herbivores on the planet, providing a substantial meal to would-be predators. Like those stalkers? Gaspot protects its domain by, yeah, okay, poisonous and corrosive pods. Dissolve even synthetic fibers? Yikes. Okay, they've got filtering. Okay, algae gland. Right? With the yellow algae blobs. Assessment, okay. Approach with caution, acidic pods may be retrieved and repurposed. Rapid ray. Inedible, but harmless. <laughs> okay. Assessment... Let's see. Bladderfish. Edible oxygen may be retrieved from the bladder and added to tanks on consumption. Membrane has applications as natural water filters. Ooh. Boomerang is edible. Poopfish. Edible. Yeah, I, I get the feeling a lot of these smaller ones are just edible. Scavengers. Floaters. Two species living in symbiosis, which attach to and attempt to feed on any objects they come into contact with. Ink made Mahadi of the intersection jaw, blah, 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 blah. Oh, it attempts... Oh, it's essentially a leech. Okay. A gel-like substance is an entirely different thing, evidently. Okay. May aid in flotation of sunken objects. Hmm. So if I say I wanted to make something float. Interesting. Exploitable flora. Acid mushrooms. Battery. Creep vine. Edible. And construction applications. Interesting. Sea writhing weed. Basically just okay. Alright. Oh, we've got another radio message. Very good. Very good. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Oh, hey. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. The reactor. I'll try them again tomorrow. And the Charter's going to have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. Seven, Let's see what the long-range stands pick up in the meantime. Uh, there's so much going on all at once. Oh. Oh. Well, all right then. Well, that was spectacular. Ah. Uh. Uh, 
for your that doesn't sound good the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database oh okay uh, radiation okay radiation suit let's, let's go check on that that sounds like a good idea after a giant uh seemingly nuclear reactor inside of a spaceship blew up not too far from us all right um Glad to see a new player joining this beautiful game. Thank you! I've played a little bit before, but I don't remember a ton of it, and I wanted to save it for... I wanted to save the majority of my playing for this, uh, to do it on stream, so... I am rather excited to see more of this game. Fiber mesh and lead. Is there a helmet that goes with this? Not at the moment, from the look of it. Copper or tight. Let's make one of these. Because that seems like it would be handy. Okay. What did they say we needed on here again? Fiber mesh and lead. And fiber mesh was the creep vine, I think. So we need fiber mesh and lead. Let's see what we have got so far. Okay, back up here. Woo. Okay, we've got some creep mine. We have exactly one lead. <laughs> Unless there's some that we've squirreled away in here that I've forgotten about. Let's find that. Alas, no. Do we have another one of these? Yes. Thank heaven. Because... Okay, and I do have another one that I completely forgot about. Fiber mesh? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and make that. So now we need lead. And I need to remember... Okay, which of these had lead in it? Titanium and copper. We need sandstone outcrops. Okay. Playing freedom? Yeah, my... <laughs> I don't have the brain power to do uh, the hunger meter as well, unfortunately. We would be dying quite a bit if I tried to do that. So I figured, for the sake of, you know, not dying every two seconds, I would keep it to oxygen and health. Let's see here. Sandstone. Where did we see sandstone? Was it over here? I think it might have been over here. Oh, hey, we've got one of the thingies. Oh, golly, more of you. More of you guys. Why? Why must you follow me everywhere? See if there's any sandstone around here. It may have been over in that red area. We'll we'll see. Oh, we've got floating. Is it supposed to be floating like that? Oh, why are you? Can we scan? Oh, why can we scan you? No, no, I don't want to see clusters. No, I'm I'm trying to. Trying to scan this dude. The rest of y'all need to leave me alone. Ooh. Infection. Oh. Infection. That sounds very unfortunate. Okay. Um. Ooh. Did I see something over here? Yes. Okay, so I think this is, yes, this is sandstone. <gasps> There's the lead we need. I think that's all we needed. 30 seconds. Oh, dang. Maybe we'll try and get at least one more just to be sure we have enough, because I don't want to go all the way back and find that. I don't think I'm not. I need to start writing down how many. So laundry list is a good idea, but it's less effective if I don't know how many. 
got a good amount of titanium. Oh golly. I've got a good amount of titanium right now, so. <laughs> oh, he dropped it. Oh. I do like having this extra big oxygen tank. This is not sandstone, but we'll get it anyway. Alright. Oh! No. You're like something. But again, we'll grab it. No. Where is sandstone? This looks like a bad idea. Let's do it. Oh, I don't like you. Can, can I scan you? Hmm? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's already open. Oh. Something must have uh, awakened it. all the trouble to go down there and all I found is cave sulfur. But I guess at least I got it without having to, you know, get blown up trying to get it. Well, that's a plus. Okay. Come on. Come on, sandstone. Where you at? More salt. I got enough of that to be getting on with at the moment. Oh! Ooh! Yes! Yes! Okay. I think that'll do. Let's. Oh! <gasps> Is there anything in this? Yes! What are you? Oh, mobile vehicle bay again! Okay. 67%. Alright. Where is. Oh, okay. Oh, hey, what are you? It's pretty. And yes, we can. Come on. Veined net. Which we just did. <laughs> when I said my memory isn't great, I was a joke. Okay. All right. Up we go. Eek. Oh, hey, did I ever? Okay, no, there wasn't another life pod. I couldn't remember what... Okay, there's the radiation suit. Got all this stuff. Now, can we build the radiation suit, is the question. Need the fiber mesh. I thought we made that. Oh, we only have one. We need, we need another, guys. Okay. Oh, golly, I was right. It is getting dark. Okay. Uh, do I see long, greeny things in the distance anywhere? No, I do not. That's just, that's just wonderful. Okay. We'll just set off in a random direction. Yeah, I see the radio message. We'll, we'll go back in a minute. Um, just hold your horse's uh, radio. We'll, we'll be back for you in a moment. No. That is a bad sound. I don't like that sound. Anything in here? Oh, no. I, I don't want you. I want... Oh, nothing in there. What about... Oh, but there is... Oh, Mercy Glide! Yes! 
New blueprint acquired. Delightful. Ooh. And can I hide from stalkers in here? Probably not. If they're smart enough, they'd probably find me. <laughs> Those are quite pretty in an eerie way. Ooh. Okay. We just need some of this. this. Nice. Come on. Quit turning around. I'm trying to... Okay. Beacon name. Backspace. Uh, let's call it... Kelp. with feeling. <laughs> oh, hey. Help forest. We'll just do all one word because I'm lazy. And okay. What am I getting wrong? Okay, there we go. Did I get it wrong again? Okay. I got it. Oh. You can do it, I know. This is like, come on. We got it, guys. We finally got out of... Who would have known that out of everything in this game so far, what we've struggled with the most is just naming the beacon. Oh, but we got it. We got it. All right. Heading back here because we have a radio message. We've got something about bacteria to read or something or, or a disease or infection or some such nonsense yeah okay. and we just might have a radiation suit oh that's right we have to make more fiber Showing a thingy. Equipment. Oh, Pathfinder yeah, tool. Well, what we really want, yes, is the radiation suit. Beautiful. Okay. There's some messages that we already did. Rebreather sounds interesting. What's what's needed for the wiring kit? Ooh, actually, sea glass. Battery lubricant, copper wire, titanium. Okay. But what about... Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's the wiring kit. Silver! There. Do we have any? We have one silver here. Let's see if we've got any in here. Ah! No, not outside. There we go. None in here. There might be some in one of the ones outside. In fact, let's grab a couple of these. Just kind of use this as basically titanium storage. We've got just enough. Perfect. And then we'll put the others outside. Let's see what's in this so far. I think I only put some maybe in this one? Yes, okay. Uh we'll go ahead and put more. Nope, I didn't want to put that in. Give me back the hell. 
health. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put salt in here too, I guess. Okay. Sage the Protogen, hi! Oh, thank you for the follow. Very kind of you, welcome to our crazy crew. Hope you enjoy our, your time with us. Okay, oh, this one's nice and empty. Beautiful. Char oh, wait, is that, is that a gold? It's gold! Yes! Okay, we do have at least one gold. Lovely. Oh, oh dear. Okay, there we go. Alright, so before we do the radio message, let's check on that... We have a couple of entries in here to check on. A creep vine seeds... Uh, let's see, the overall assessment is... Vital Alien Resource Construction Applications. Oh, it's vital. Very nice. Veined Nettle. Mostly just a decorative thing from the look of it. Okay. Now there was something in here. Okay, Advanced Theories. That's interesting. First Radiation Suit. This suit fully protects against the effects of radiation during land, sea, and space exploration. Safety rated up to 400 SVHR, whatever that is. Cross compatible with all AEP suit functionality. Sleek. I, I love that that's a feature of it. It's sleek. <laughs> We're worried about the fashionability, even on a dangerous alien planet. Good to know. I mean, relatable, honestly, if I'm being completely honest. The radiation suit, a necessary precaution in a post. M.A.D. world. Alrighty then. Advanced theories. Okay, here's the bit about infection. A specimen with symptoms of infection. This organism is displaying signs of a bacterial infection. And I was chasing it around with a scanner gun. That was a great idea. Bright green blisters are forming networks around the infection sites. Pathology suggests a waterborne bacterium capable of penetrating the body through the skin and respiratory system. That's not good. Underlying indications of genetic mutation and aggressive behavior, the bacterium itself is unlike any so far recorded in human exploration. Warning! May be contagious. Avoid. Do not under any circumstances consume the flesh. So, don't eat the green fish. The, the ones with the green glowy blisters. That's great. That's just, oh, that's just, that's just glorious. Things are going so well. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. Yeah, we I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. Yeah, We're now en route to your location. We're going to bring you home. Sunbeam out. Well. What see. else can I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. This just goes from bad to worse, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I kind of feel bad for the guy. You feel. Oh. I just. Just. Are people supposed to be airborne? I. I ain't gonna question it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> do we... Do we know if we can go over by the ship now? We have a radiation suit. Huh? Let's try it. But what's the worst that could happen? You know, besides everything. But yeah, I, I kind of feel bad for that guy. He, he already felt bad and now he's trying to land a ship on this somehow and he's afraid he's gonna crash I don't envy him they jump out of the water okay <laughs> good to know I'm like is that supposed to happen he's just he's just living his dreams there just flying on out oh this is very cloudy all right that looks dangerous but you know, we're 
we, we shall forge ahead. Ooh, more stiff. Oh, we've got a boomerang that appears to have gotten stuck a little. Ooh, what's down in here? Do we have another one of these? Yes, we do. Oh, thank heaven. Oh, God, stupid little. Okay. Those things, like, I don't know why they make me panic so much, but they do. They're so small, yet so explody. At least in the wake of their destruction. There's more? Oh golly. Oh, you're right. There is another one. How dare they? Eek. All right, let's, let's see if we can... Oh wait. Eek. Okay, it looks like he's... It looks like they've both already activated. Okay. Well, whatever. I'll take the cave sulfur. Oh, there it is. Sulfur plant. Very nice. Give me all the data entries. Ooh, what are you? Empty. Oh, it's a locker. There's someone's picture in it. Oh, that's sad. screaming at us about radiation anymore, so presumably we're allowed to be here now? Anything else over here? What are you? A coffee vending machine? I mean, I'm not complaining. I love coffee. Did, did it give it to me? Do I need multiples? <laughs> Whatever. Point is, we have discovered that there are coffee vending machines in this game. Which is great news for a coffee lover such as myself. Although I don't think we can consume any of it because we're not on the hunger and thirst version of this game. Glass. Oh wait, where, where is it? Okay. Over here. Ooh. That's a big chunk of it. Any other sharp teeth thing around here that want to bite my face off? Because I don't want you to. I would like you to stay far, far away. Ooh, a desk? Certain. <laughs> Probably not. This doesn't seem like a very desk-heavy sort of game. Or rather, desk work-heavy sort of game. Where are you? An office chair? Yeah, sure, why not? Give me all the blue prints. Oh. He just ate something. And this could be you! Or rather, me. Is there anything in here? <laughs> no. Alas. Ooh, but you look new. A Gary fish? Why Gary? <laughs> Come back here. I got it. The little ones are so hard to get a hold of. But we did it. And we are about to die. So let's get some air. Well, not about to die, but you know. Let that refill. Save. Alright. 
Is there any way inside of this thing? That becomes the next question. Oh! There's a- oh! Oh! We have a repair tool. Alright. Self-scan? Self-scan complete. Vital signs normal. Continuing to monitor. Oh! Supply case. <gasps> yes! First aid kit. More first aid. Yes! Anything else in here? Oh! Oh! Command chair. Ooh. Yeah, sure, why not? New blueprint acquired. Uh, anything else in here? Apparently not. It's not a door, is it? Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. Wait. I ain't going into some ventilation system with nothing to show me the way. With only partial air. Okay. Now we can go into the <laughs> dark ventilation system. With, you know, no light source. Because, you know, that's a great idea. Oh dear. Oh. This is a bad idea. Oh my. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, we've got lights again. Are we just going back the way we came? Probably. We may have to find this one again. Yeah, because I can't see in there. We'll have to come back. It's right over here by the Aurora's like back engines from the look of it, so hopefully we'll be able to find it again without too much trouble. Just follow the stalkers, I guess. <laughs> what are you? Oh, that's another one of those fans. Okay. Sand Ooh! What are you? Cyclops engine. Whatever that is. Oh! It looks large. more titanium. Yes. Ooh. More caves. We're in danger. Really? Uh, copper. Okay. Air. Oh, yeah. Air is getting low. Okay, back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Nope. My sense of direction is not great, as you can probably tell. But... We shall see... Oh. If we can survive... Okay, okay. We've, we've got open ocean up there. And so we immediately enter another cave. What the... What the heck are you? 
a shuttle bug. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh my. What was that? Why was there a flash of light? We don't like random flashes of light in a very dark chasm. Spells danger. But of course we'll go back. Because I thought I saw an interesting rock or something. Oh, it's just more table coral. What is these? Can we scan it? No. Just a random fern type thing. Oh, glowing. Uh, limestone. Oh, a tree. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Oh, oh dear. Got turned around in a cave that's literally barely big enough to stand. All right. What was? Weird noises out here. It goes straight up for more air and come right back down. Because I saw blue light. We shouldn't. Very interesting. Or is it just this purple? I think it was just the purple. In here. At least there hasn't been anything that wants to eat us so far, from the look of it. Ooh. That seems to be going pretty deep, but maybe we can follow it down a little ways. Actually. Got two of these, right? Yes. Let's use one. Get ourselves all the way up. Just in case we get too low, let's also save. <laughs> okay. This is very open. Which for some reason seems scary. Oh! <gasps> oh, it's another one of those! Should I be scared of you? Oh, it got very cloudy all of a sudden. We're getting kind of low on it. Let's head back up real quick, and then we'll come back down. It is very dusty. I'm not sure if we should be concerned. 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know. 30 seconds. I get you. Down we go. Probably should have brought another beacon. But I was actually headed to the uh, Aurora and got sidetracked, as I am ap uh, prone to do. Ooh! Got more of this. Oh, we got another one of you. Are we feeling brave enough to try and scan him now? We've got full health. Maybe we can... Oh god. He's... Oh! Oh! He's such an aggressive boy! Oh! Oh my gosh! 30 seconds. Oh, and we're almost out of oxygen. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, can we get up? Can we get up in time? This area might be a little too low down for us to explore. Although we could... That I thought I saw something in there that's like... An air pump? Pipes? Perhaps we could make those for areas really far down like this? Because we've got a pretty good oxygen tank, so evidently. Why did the music suddenly get very intense? Which should I be concerned? <laughs> Maybe we 
should name some of these spookier critters to make them a little less spooky. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, well, that's not ideal. All right, so we can't really go further down there very well. Oh, hey! There's that dude, and we still got 73... No, 70. <laughs> Rapidly dropping, but, you know. Where are you? Oh, he's literally in the ground. Oh, sand shark. Is that why you're underground? <laughs> no, no, no. But I did, I did get the scan. I got the scan. We, we did what we came to do. We're good. We're going up. Oh, golly. Oh. Ah. Oh. Okay. All right. I see how it is. Oh. Oh, sunlight. Lovely, lovely sunlight. I'm not much of a sun person in real life, but by golly. Yet you learn to really appreciate the sun in this game. Because without it, it's dark. I'm thinking when we go back, we need to look up. I, I saw there was a flashlight. So we should look up the ingredients. Oh dear, is he still around? Oh! Nuclear waste disposal? Can, can you do that in this game? Can you dispose of- is there nuclear waste to dispose of? Is that a thing? Oh no. Uh, okay, can't scan any of that. Don't really want more salt right now. Exploring, trying not to die, <laughs> trying not to get eaten by sand sharks. Oh, more Passing silver. Oh dear, more oxygen okay. efficiency decreased. Okay, I get it. Not allowed. All right, gotcha. We got more sandstone. <gasps> Good. Hey, did we get you last time? <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, you are aggressive. Oh my. A tiger plant. Golly, even the even the fauna is trying to kill me here. Okay. What just got eaten? Okay, you're over there. We're, we're gonna go around you a little bit. Yeah? Okay. Oh, oh. Thirty seconds. Oh shoot. I keep getting distracted by all the pretty things down here and terrifying things and then forgetting it. Yeah, oxygen is a thing. You need it. Get your tail end back up to the surface, cadet. Okay. Alright, where where is the Aurora? Back that way. Okay, we have gotten very far of course. I wanted to go check out the Aurora. Can we go faster with two hands? I don't seem to. Hmm. I wonder if I could make any of these wrecks, uh, like the larger wrecks float if I got enough of these floaters. <laughs> that seems like a bad idea, but also intriguing. Okay, have I lost my bearings again? Yes. Where are you? Okay, we are headed in the right direction. This planet is huge. What is that noise? Something out. Oh, more noises. So many noises I don't like. Oh. isn't the best right now, so we'll just, you know, can we we do have one more. Okay. Eh, it's limestone. We can get that another time. Pump 
something about this screams no. Absolutely not. <laughs> so why not just, you know, check it out. Just a little. Oh no, wait, that's just that area over there. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's a stop. Okay. Hey. <gasps> Is that just lead sitting out there in the open? Yes, please. No, that is a thingy. Oh, but there is something in it. What are you? Propulsion camp. Propulsion, huh? Oh, more lead. Yes. And more things. Oh, another propulsion cannon piece from the. Yes, okay. Okay, we've got more acquired. Hey! Is that rain coral over here? Yes, it is. Let's beef back. Wow! <laughs> what the heck? What is trying Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Were you just hanging out under the surface? Oh shoot, there's another tiger thing. I'm trying not to die. Oh shoot. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going back here. Oh, we're dying. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. Flu oh, that's... Uh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold, please. Don't you go too far. I, I want to scan you. Get all of your things. It's minus the freaking tiger plane thing. Don't like that. You are fast. Oh my gosh, there's two of you. Oh golly, more tigers. Why? Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my. Violet bow. Oh, okay. Oh dear. Ooh, breaking barnacles. Oh, oh. Oh, golly, we've got all sorts of stuff here. Well, this thing- Oh, no. This thing isn't trying to kill me, but the plants on its back sure are. Okay, what about- Let's try this one. Maybe he's more friendly. Or rather, the local fauna, or flora, or whatever the heck it is. Try and self-scan, it's good for you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure, why not? I think we did one earlier, and it said nothing notable, but check it out. We're good, it looks like. Rouge Cradle. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Ooh! And we've got Brain Coral, which I've been meaning to scan for like an hour now, and have not. <laughs> Any more uh, barnacles on here? I've been distracted once again on my way to the... Yeah, these, these guys seem pretty chill. They're very friendly. Or at least not aggressive. That's cool. That's cool. Alright, where are you? Okay, there you are. We'll, we'll get back on track here. Oh, so weird, the whole thing just kind of came flying up out of the sand. But there were things over here. Oh, come on. Not another one of you. I refuse to call it a sand shark. It is an aggro shark. Oh, and I'm dying. Why didn't you warn me, lady? Oh. Okay. Not GLaDOS. You have failed me. How dare you? To hang out with you, I would like to keep my face attached. Ah. An awful lot 
lot of tube coral. You can go floating around in here. Ooh, there's another thingy. Titanium. Yeah, sure. Ooh. <gasps> Although I think we already got this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Extra titanium. Sure. side here. Oh, hey! There's actually a stick of land! Be careful of reapers. Oh. I am aware of the existence of reapers. This is an area where they uh, hang out, eh? Oh dear. That sounds most unfortunate. Wow, we've actually found some solid oh dear. There's a yeah. Oh my gosh, it's weird being on land. Hmm. Any entrance back here? Not a cabro. Thanks for the tip, man. It's fallen down here in the front, so if there's going to be breakage, it's probably going to be in the front. Can you run? Is this running? Is there a way to run in this game? I'm using the Switch version, so... Actually, I know where we could check. Eh, I'll check it off-stream, that way I don't take up time for you guys. Okay, so we've been warned. Oh, that is the running. Oh, that's that's not much of a change, is it? Let's see if there's... Got some more wreckage. Not sure if that's a good sign or a bad sign. More stalkers. Let's go up and get a little more air. so dark. It's getting to be dusk. <laughs> of course I would come to the big scary bonfire ship right when it's getting to be dark. Of course I would. What are you? I don't see anything that looks like it's going to eat me. So maybe we can come down here and get these? Oh, it's just water. And we're not on the right mode for that, so we'll just... We'll leave that. <gasps> Ooh! But that is a battery! We can always use some of those. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's getting so dark. Okay. Dickler23, thanks for the follow! Hope you enjoy being part of the crazy crew. Hope you enjoy being part of the crazy crew. The Aurora's radioactive oh. fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Okay, that's a lot of pressure, but all right, sure. Why? Why not, computer lady? Oh dear. In case anybody joining hasn't heard it before, my general schedule is uh, a bi-weekly schedule at the moment. Oh my gosh, it's dark down here. Um, 
Oh, hey, wait, is that? No, that's not. Uh, we, right now I'm on a bi-weekly schedule of one week of Subnautica, one week of Breath of the Wild. Uh, Tuesdays we do fan art of whichever game we're playing that week. Ooh, can I get through here? And then Thursdays are gaming days. Uh, 3 p.m. Mountain Time for about three hours each. Oh, are we inside? We are. We're inside. Oh my gosh. Wow, that's scary, but also that is gorgeous. A plus set design. Do ooh. Okay. All right. We have not died. Oh! What are those? I'm going to save. Oh, it jumps. I don't like it. No, don't like it. Oh! Cave crawlers? What What are, what are cave crawlers? Oh, they skitter. I don't like skitters. Oh. Oh, golly. How many of you are there? Oh, too many. Too Oh, bugs. They're basically bugs. Pseudo-ocean bugs. Nope, not not happy. Not happy, Bob. Can, can I kill you? Oh! Ooh. Potentially I can. Okay. Ah! Death to the bugs! Yeah. Come back here. Okay. Did it? okay, I got that one. Oh no. No! Oh no. No! <laughs> oh golly. Ah! Jump! Jump, man! Oh golly. I'm sure if I caught myself on fire or if one of these. Oh, that looks like an opening. Eh. But the bugs. <laughs> Ow! Do not bite me! Oh, not another one. Oh no! Ah! Alright, come here, you. Dunga! I stab at thee, sir. Come here. Damn, go. If I die to bugs, I'm. Oh! Shoot, that one's infected. No, absolutely not. Go away. Huh? Can we... Okay, we can't get in there right now. Uh, that's not good. Okay. Uh, can we go anywhere else? Near blueprint acquired. Bring this back out. Ooh, there's a box. Try not to get killed by bugs. Oh golly, they're just... But we got a battery. That's good. Ooh, more stuff. Preparing oh. the day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. I mean, that'd be great if Warning, I did it. Ship's but... structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration. Oh is conducted at your own risk. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured that's just- oh golly, I figured that's the case with this entire place. This entire planet, really. Oh golly! No, 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 no! <coughs> ah! Okay. We, we may have to go home, home, home and get uh, extra materials. Is it saying something about fire extinguishers and like... We, we have a laser cutter. I don't know, maybe we'll be fine. Maybe we'll be fine. Oh, uh, but the health. The health is what can- Oh, hey! Speak of the devil. Oh god. Ah. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. Never mind, we can continue for now. No. Go away, bugs. Ugh. Disgusting. What is this over here? Is that something that can be scanned? Huh? I've been so preoccupied with bugs. No? Okay. What about over here? <laughs> Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Don't, don't pay the bugs any mind. Go in? Yeah. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna see if we can get further up here. Okay. I mean, we can still go up, so we might as well. We already got the floodlights. Oh god, it keeps vibrating and falling all over the place. And oh my gosh. Ooh, another box. Ah, no, I don't need more water. 
caution. Scans show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. Oh, that's not desirable at all. That is... Oh dear, go away. Oh, oh! Oh dear. You, uh, disgusting. Ah! Oh, ooh! Oh golly, there's bugs on the walkway. Bugs on the walkway. No! Absolutely not. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Another med kit! <clears throat> Ow! Oh! Ow! Falling debris? Why? <gasps> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, the game gets me. You get me, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Can, can I scan you? Yeah. Ow! Shoot. <gasps> hey! Extra fire extinguisher? Yes, please. <clears throat> okay. okay. That's it. Time to... Yes. Time to stab this thing. From the hell's heart, I stab at thee. And you are gone. Excellent. Now I can get my med kit. In peace. Oh. Okay. I see fire, which means extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah. Oh golly. Okay, was there anything else out here? No look bit no. So let's just Can we get that fire? No. no look bit no. Air locks. Ooh. Another battery. What are we doing on inventory? Not bad. Okay. We're getting batteries. This is great! No, uh, that doesn't appear to be. Uh. Ooh. Aurora systems are running on local reserve power. Unable to remotely download black box data. Oh. Okay, I guess we're supposed to get that. We've got a PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Exiting sleep mode. Loading voice recognition. Engineer Barkley and Chief Technology Officer Liu identified. Drone, get me a propulsion cannon. Repulsion cannon retrieved. Hey, Berkeley, install that circuit box with that repulsion cannon and you'll punch a hole in the cargo bay. Damn it, drone, I said propulsion, not repulsion. Recalibrate sensors. Senses recalibrated. Sensors aren't the problem. I tweak the program. It's like you now. It doesn't like being told what to do. <sighs> Drone, I know... His name's Albert now. Albert, Albert. Okay. I know it's not your fault, but it would really help me do my job if you'd bring me what I asked for. Thanks for your time. Propulsion cannon retrieved. Thank you. Now go away. Entering Rude. hibernation mode. Boss, this hobby of yours isn't making my job any easier. Or safer. Maybe so, but it's all that's stopping me from being so bored. I take a space walk in my skivvies. That's pretty bored. She's, uh, an interesting sort, from the sound of it. Okay. Can we get through? No. Okay. It was worth checking. We've got all this stuff here, and we can't move that either right now. I'm wondering, I keep seeing these propulsion cannon fragments around, so maybe that's what we need in order to continue, so we may go back and do that once we've truly hit a roadblock. Sage the trip and I'm gonna go by. Alright, thanks for dropping in and hanging out for so long. Hope you had a good time, it was nice to meet you. And whatever time it is, day it is for you, oh. have a good oh god, evening or whatever time it is. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. More office chairs, guys. We are just office chair rich in terms of blueprints. Oh, we've got a trash can. Lovely. we got here. Yeah. Oh, it's out. Alright. Bye.
fine. It's empty. We'll just... Oh, shoot. No, I don't want to take captures. I want to drop this empty extinguisher. Alright, fresh one. Got another PDA. Integrating new PDA data. You were supposed to take me to the PDA. Where is it? Oh, dead gum. Where'd it go? Ah! Or wait, is it here? Be somewhere. Vehicles, floodlight, propulsion cannon. Where did I miss it? Vehicles. Oh, notes to staff. Notes to self, I think? Oh, there it is. So here we are finally in open space. We cross the galaxy to install a phase gate. Okay, we're getting a little more info here. Not sure what a phase gate is. I'm assuming it's some sort of like portal. Okay, quit shaking so I can read you. To send ships to mine resources. Oh, we're a mining company for the sound of it. Okay. To build more expensive ships to install fancier phase gates. Are we trying to exhaust the galaxy or just ourselves? <laughs> 806. Oh god, quit, quit shaking. Use birthday. 40 weeks. 40 weeks before we get home. Ooh. 400 weeks, it feels like, before we get home. <laughs> Not enough. Credits Altera's paying me. I get that. 1454 Cargo Bay Code. Oh, that's bad. Okay, notes to self. We want to keep an eye on that. We're going to need that at some point, I assume. So we have Cargo Bay Code. Anything else? Ooh! Data terminal. Now my data. Terra Integrating new PDA launches data. the Aurora. Uh, Altera launches the Aurora. Phase gate announced for the Ariadne arm. Altera launches the Aurora. Ooh. The first list region. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The furthest reaches of inhabited space are due to expand as Altera Core launches a newly constructed capital ship carrying a phase gate bound for the Ariadne arm, which I guess is some region of space in this game. Blades, stop shaking. The Aurora will travel from a space dock on the edge of Altera space, making hundreds of consecutive phase gate jumps through nine different Transgov authorities and arrive on the far side of the Ariadne arm in three months' time. From there, the command crew will pilot the ship beyond the final phase gate, arriving in the next solar system approximately 18 months later. Two years. No, no. A year and... Six months, one and a half years. Yes, two years. Hey. There, there. The elite team of engineers will begin a six-month construction project on the new phase gate, a multi-trillion credit investment. In the absence of existing infrastructure in the region, the vessel is equipped with advanced thermal and nuclear power facilities. Hence, the radiation suit. Okay. Altera Course currently operates. Nine percent of all phase gates in the galaxy if the Aurora's mission is successful, Alfaro will have outmaneuvered a cabal of Mongolian corporations operating a range of outposts and mines in the region. Alrighty then. A cabal, you say. Alright. Good to know. Ooh! Oh, that's the one that I discarded. Ooh, we can take the poster! Alright. Anything else over here? No? What are you? Oh, never mind, there is one wee little battery if I can... There it is! Okay. Alright. With that, I think we've gone as far as we can in here without the... Uh, that thingy majigger, the propulsion gun. So... Let's head out. We've still got some space in our inventory, so we can grab some things on the way back. Boink! Let's 
Let's see, we've got about 40 minutes left before I gotta finish for the evening. Ow! Oh golly, I'm playing with my life here. Can you die falling in the water? <laughs> Seems like a bad thing to test. Before we go back into Bug Central, we'll suit up with a little more health. Bugs and falling things and fire and smoke and just all the bad things. Let me see if I've missed anything that I could. Oh god. At least I'm finally starting to kind of get a handle on the controls. I was afraid I'd have to. Oh dear. So you can't get fall damage, good to know. reaching the edge of what we can get to with our current oxygen level. Whoop. Just when I thought I was getting better at the controls. <laughs> so much you guys go ahead and save before we head out into the abyss again <gasps> speaking of reapers I'm pretty sure that's one. Oh my gosh look at that thing the light particle hi there having fun we are although I think we just found a scary boy we do not have the equipment to deal with him at the moment. Look at that thing. Oh! Okay. Yeah. We just hit a point in the Aurora where we can go no further, so we're headed back to see if perhaps we can uh, see if maybe we have some of the stuff needed to make some more equipment. How are you doing today? Mic audio is a bit lower than the game audio. Is that a bit better? If not, then I'll go into the game settings and actually physically turn it down a little bit. In fact, I think there was a bit of land over here somewhere. Actually, we shouldn't need to do that. Options, general, yeah, I could turn it down a bit, okay. Let's see, here's the master volume. Let's see if, oh, there we go. Let's try 70-ish, 78%. 
Let me know if that's a little better. And if it needs to go lower, I'll put it down a little more. Okay. Oh, it's getting so dark. Not to be nitpicky, but feedback is vital. Yes, you are very right. And I do want to make sure you guys can hear everything. Okay. But yeah, let, let me know if that's uh, low enough on the volume of the game. Oh, it's so dark. It's so dark, you guys. We really need to look into the ingredients for that flashlight. Try this, it might be enough. Sweet. Yeah, just let me know if it gets too loud again and I'll just yank it down a little more. Oh my gosh. And there's the giant reef back again. Just chilling out. I like those. They're cool. Oh good, it's starting to get light again. <laughs> Thankfully the day-night cycles are pretty quick. Though I have a feeling we'll be getting deeper and deeper and deeper, and it will be getting darker and darker and darker. Oh yes, we also need to come back this way at some point with the flashlight because there was a wreck uh, towards the seconds. back of the uh, Aurora. Which had a ventilation system that we could go through because it's too darn dark. So that's the other reason we want to have that flashlight. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to look at. There were a couple other things. I'm sure that it will have them noted for us. Woo! Oh, and we've got another message, too. Okay, so we'll check that in a moment. Let's see. Your favorite fall times this game. You like it better with food and water, though? Yeah. I... I don't quite have the brain cells for that, unfortunately, so... I figured, for the sake of not dying every two minutes, I would keep it, you know, with just the health and the oxygen, but yeah, it... It seems like the sort of thing that a lot of people would really enjoy doing. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Flashlight. Glass and battery. We do have a lot of batteries from exploring in there, and glass we should be able to make pretty easily. It looks like we just need one. We should be able to do that. We've got lots of copper. We might have some creep vine seed clusters, so we might be able to make this too for finding our way through things. Music is still making it hard to hear. Okay. Let's fix that then. Let's do... Oh, it was general, wasn't it? Let's go down to 50. Could lower only music? Yeah, we'll try that. And we'll bring this back up to around 76. Let's try that. See how that works. And we'll save real quick since we're back here. Oh yes, we want to look in here. Brain coral, anything useful? Air tanks are trapped are quick to siphon oxygen from the water where possible. Yeah, because they let off water. Giant coral tubes. Rich in calcium, exploitable in bleach. Sand shark. <laughs> Don't do not like assessment. Avoid. <laughs> it's just like just don't go near it. Just just don't. Uh, let's see. Music is fine for you. We'll try it a little lower just to see if that helps so that everyone can hear. But. If it's too low, let me know about that too. We'll try to find the sweet spot for everybody. Gary Fish. Assessment edible. <laughs> its entire existence just reduced to edible. 
leviathans. Y'all. Ugh. Reefback leviathan. Okay, so that's... That's this guy. The glowy, chill dudes. Okay, so this is a good leviathan. How far have we come? Do we search the aurora? We have started searching the aurora, but we hit a snag because there's stuff blocking um, a lot of the ways forward. Uh, we went as far as we could by going up into the top, but we hit a roadblock there as well. I think we need that propulsion whatever. We did get the... Um, we did find that uh, blueprint. It, it's like a propulsion cannon thing. So I'm guessing that's what we need. We found extra, like, fragments of that inside the ship after already having found it outside. So I'm, I'm guessing that that's a clue for us to get that. So we're back here to check on our um, stuff, maybe make some more fire extinguishers. I think it said something about how we should have a cutting tool, but I don't think we have that yet. Can jump the boxes without propulsion, but you do need the laser cutter. Oh, we don't have the laser cutter, so maybe we need to go out and explore for that before we return. Uh, good to know. Thanks for the tip. Okay, so... Got a neck, big, thick exoskeleton. Missionary paths are might different from the other organisms on 4546b, which I think is the planet name, most of which are vertebrate by nature. Reef back species has likely been able to grow far larger than other herbivores because anything large enough to break through its shell has long since gone extinct. <laughs> Thankfully. I, I don't think I, I don't want to think about what we'd have what we'd do if we had something that was bigger than the reef back trying to eat us. But the reapers are bad enough. Enzyme pod. Okay, kind of like the gasopods. There's some unknown purpose in its digestive system. Okay. Can- oh, so you can get, like, some sort of little pods from this too, maybe? Okay. Am I hearing a faint beeping behind me? Yes, that would be the radio. Maybe, maybe we'll grab that right after we finish looking at this entry. Because that's the radio going. It's probably another life pod or something. We've gotten one of those. Or maybe it's uh, the sun Sunbeam or whatever? Was that the name of the ship that contacted us? Harvest plants, small fish, and metal-rich barnacles. Okay. Which we already knew by the tiger plant attacking us. This is Sunbeam. Okay, it is him again. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds Fair. like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. That would be nice. Might just be we're in. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. Huh. Cool. Is that his turn? It appears to be. Okay. So not another life pod, just them. Getting back in touch with us. Cave crawlers. These these are those little... Ugh, the bugs. Ugh. Carrion feeders. Also, they like to bite me. I'm not a fan. Assessment. Necessary waste recycler. Avoid or incapacitate. Or, you know, just stab. <laughs> That's my usual solution to cave crawlers. Shuttle bug. Three legs. Necessary waste recycler. Presence may indicate nearby cave systems. Good info. Sulfur plant. Applications and construction of the repair tool. We already have that. Regress shell. Plants. Plants. Angry plants. Violet bow. Another plant. Okay. And it looks like we have a few more. Oh, I found the right button for in-game screenshots yet. Those images have multiple uses later. I did, actually, just by accident. I was trying to open the um, PDA and I kept accidentally taking screenshots. But you make a good point. I should take some cool screenshots. Especially when uh, the massive red moon comes out. That thing's awesome. Cyclops. Now this was interesting. I don't think we have all the things for it yet, but... The Cyclops is the most popular and reliable deep-sea submersible in the galaxy. Okay, so it is a submarine. By comparison to the competition, it can be crewed by just one pilot, hence the name. It features 
three-speed manual piloting controls and forward observation deck for precision maneuvering. Dry dock for transportation maintenance and recharging of scouting vehicles. Ooh, scouting vehicles. Another message already? My gosh. Um, extensive storage solutions in the keel hold section. Nice. Internal and external video feeds. Onboard AI for threat detection. Extens extensive com customizable options. Higher speeds generate additional noise which may oh, attract undesired attention. That sounds unfortunate. Power consumption. Engine off. Zero. Slow. 25. Standard. 50. Flank. 100. Okay. Silent running mode may be activated in conjunction with any speed setting to reduce noise close to zero at a substantial additional power cost. Yikes. Cyclops upgrades may be fabricated at the terminal in the engine room and installed in the neighboring panel. Ratings top speed, 8 miles... No, 8 meters per second, I think? Acceleration 3 meters per second power, replaceable power cells dimensions, blah blah blah. That is big. Very big. Persons 1 to 6? Ah, uh, there's just me so far. Does not feature habitation quarters, automatic si fire suppression, <laughs> or emergency ballast. Good to know. So it's big, it's heavy, and it kind of, it's, you know, takes a lot of power. Good to know. Floodlight, which could be handy. Propulsion cannon. Okay, yeah. Well, some species are telekinetic. For everyone else, there's Altera. <laughs> nice. Uh, Alright, let's go get that message before the beeping drives me nuts. Oh, okay. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us Grim. already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. You don't mean a Reaper, do you? Because <laughs> if so, I'm not eager to come out there. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Deployables. Okay, we can get a sea glide. We need engine lubricant and copper wire. We could make a couple more beacons, which is probably a good idea as we go out and about. These are those. Okay, we can make more of those once we get closer to actually going out there. Right, we need the glass. Okay. Oh, wait, we do have laser. Okay, ingredients unknown. Never mind. Propulsion cannon. Wiring kit battery titanium. I think we might actually have the stuff to make that. Unless we don't have the laser cutter yet. Why don't we do the... Let's do the, um... What's it called? Flashlight. Because we keep finding ourselves out in the middle of nowhere. And without access to light. <laughs> uh, let's see if this is enough. And we'll go ahead and use some of the copper to make some copper wiring for future endeavors. Assume I found some pods already. We found one, life pod number three. Glass? Did you listen to the audio from the PDA we found? Yes, we did. At least I think we did. Yes. Yes, we did. Go ahead and make another beacon. Probably need to use up a few of these resources so that we don't just end up with, you know, massive amounts of space being taken up. Okay. Got glass, got batteries. We should probably put away some of these. Scanner's getting a little low, but not too low. We should put that away if we can. Silver. What do we need for the, um, 
Great, the voice acting is too good to be missed out. On, yeah, it seems like pretty good voice acting so far. Definitely agree with you on that. Oh, here we go. We we can make the wiring kit. Let's go ahead and make that. Ooh. Okay. And you know what? We'll make make one more of these. And we'll put away this poster that we <laughs> uh, yanked out of the all uh, not the all here the aurora. We'll put this... Okay, how do I assign this to a quick... Ooh, it goes straight to the front one. I'm not sure I like that. Okay. Uh... Let me go on with you. Okay. Oh, wait. I wanted to make that, uh... Flashlight. Hold on. Hold, please. Or no, we wanted in hearing equipment. There we go. Battery and glass. I knew when I saw the batteries we don't want to put those away. <laughs> okay. Be good. We good. That's alright. The the PC version is more customizable from what I remember. But my PC isn't quite powerful enough to play this and uh, stream it, so I figured this would be a good compromise, putting it on my Switch. Let's see. Put our extra titanium in here. I think one of these others had... Yes. We'll put the gold in here. Or no, actually, we'll... We'll put the gold in another one, and instead possibly use it right here. Another one. What have you got? We'll put this in here. Those in. And the rest can go in the new one. No, 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 no. I don't want to pick it up. I'm trying to open it. Okay, that will do. There should be another health kit in here med kit or whatever you call it. Yes. We shall take that with us. No more messages? Good. Alright, let's check on that. This one we need to put to... or no, yellow is uh, found. This one we have not done yet. It's not far. Perhaps we should go check that out. Are you in the direction of the Aurora? No. Okay. Alright. I'm not sure I like the sound of a giant... scary... snake thing outside, though. Okay. Stranded near a cave system and under... Okay. 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 Did we bring... Okay, yeah, I do still have the... Thingy-majigger. Beacon. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, we've got... Another kelp forest. Kelp forest 2, electric boogaloo. Alright. Bring it on, let's see what we got out here. We are armed and ready with our scanner. Probably use a couple more of these. So I think it said that we needed those for lubricant, which I remember we needed it for something, so we'll get like two of those. Oh. No. Go away. Oh golly. Stalkers and sand sharks? Why? Why you do this? Ooh! Not what I was looking for, but haven't made a sea glide, sea glide yet. Would be a good priority. Oh, okay. 
Noted. Oh, golly. Duly noted. Maybe I'll mark this as well. We're, we're just gonna put beacons all over the place. 30 seconds. Oh, dear. First oxygen. And we've got about half an hour left. Whew. That was not enough air. Over here to where kind of in the middle of the kelp forest. Okay. Alright, y'all, let's see if we can handle the uh <laughs> try and rename this thing. Okay. Come here. Come here, you. No, let, let me name you. There we go. Okay. Uh Aha. Kelp. Oh, not kindergarten. Kelp forest two. Okay. Did we get it this time? Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. We'll get a little more air before we Go find this thing. Oh, is that another? There's two? What? Two. Oh my gosh. So many. Sadly, I'm forced to leave you in a minute. Any specific questions about the game before I go? Um, not at the moment, but thanks so much for asking. That's very kind of you. But yeah, we've enjoyed having you with us for this, uh, crazy little adventure. Okay. Thanks so much for joining in with us. Sally. Okay. I need- I need to chill when I hear that noise, because- oh, It's just- it's just our friendly- Level scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters leading to an unknown environmental biome. Oh, that sounds dangerous. And fascinating. Oh! Okay, there's that. But that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for... You. Yes. Aha. You can give me a first impression? Sure. Seamoth Fragment. What are you? Oh, that's the sub. That's a that's a little sub, isn't it? Oh, oh okay. Uh, abandoned PDA. Ozzy's log. It's the day of the crash. I don't know what the heck is happening. I'm scared, and I'm not going outside. There are shadows in the water under the hatch, but I can't tell if they're rocks or aliens. And there's weird-looking caves nearby. The Aurora was carrying everything needed to build the phase gate. Mobile vehicle bays, bioreactors, propulsion cannons. It had a cinema. There, there was a zero-G gym. My cafe. Cafe? I don't understand how we're here now. Don't know why no one's coming for me. Oh, poor guy. Looks like he didn't make it either. That's sad. Good audio video, you talk a lot, think out loud, uplifting attitude, pleasant voice, and you're loyal to chat. Thanks for that. I think streaming will go well for you. Oh, thank you. That's very kind of you. It's a very kind assessment. Thanks so much. <laughs> and I appreciate the feedback. Passing 100 oh, golly. Meters. We're going too low, guys. But yeah, thanks so much. Seconds. It's very helpful. Is that all there is here? No, no new things for me to pick up and use? Like, uh, more, uh, oh, what are they called? Blueprints. There we go. Oxygen. Oh, sheesh! We may be about to die, guys. 
I see my life flashing before my eyes. No! Anyhow, good luck and keep up the good work. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, we've died. Died. Dang it. <laughs> ah. Thanks so much. Yeah, same to you. Have a good day or evening or whatever time of day it is for you. Well, we've died for the first time. We knew it was coming eventually. We knew eventually I would, you know, run out of oxygen. Oh, oh dear. You died and lost some belongings. Well, that's not ideal. Almost forgot. Save my. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Saving. <laughs> oh, golly. Okay. But on the plus side, we died right over by, you know, the a place that we can find relatively easily again. Okay, this is almost fabricating. Where are you? It was past Kelp Forest 2. <laughs> Yay, congrats on my first death with it. Well, thank you. <laughs> I feel very accomplished. Ugh. And we died just as the dawn was breaking. Look, look at that sunrise. Or sunset. I think it's sunrise. Yes, it's getting lighter. Isn't that glorious? Oh. 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 We got hit by pressing. Pressing. Passing bubbles from a brain coral. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Kelp Forest is out here. Although, I think we should be able to... Yes. It should still be visible. But where is it? Why do I have food and water off? Because I only have two brain cells and can only track so many things. And I would be dying constantly if I had the food and water on, unfortunately. So, I decided for the sake of being able to actually accomplish something in the game, you know, I would stick with the, you know, lower number of requirements. <laughs> ah, yes, my, my limitations in brain power are significant at times, we'll say. <laughs> What are you? Is this another giant salt block? We keep finding these giant ones, which I cannot do anything. Require okay, special equipment is required to collect this one. Fine. Okay, we don't want to die again, so we're gonna we're gonna go up. Just long enough to, you know, grab a bit of air. We got about 15 minutes left before I gotta call it quits for the day. So let's see if maybe we can find that laser cutter floating around somewhere out here. Somehow I don't think it's going to be over here, but we'll explore thoroughly just in case. Makes it a lot easier not having to worry so much about water and food. Yes, yes it does. Uh, I figured I am not the most uh, amazing gamer that one has ever met. So, you know, I might as well tilt the odds in my favor. At least a little. Okay, what, what have we here? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh! Ask and ye shall receive. We have found a laser cutter fragment. That is a good sign. Okay. We are definitely gonna... I totally didn't think it was gonna be in this area, but it is, it seems. So let's see if we can find another... Another one. Oh. Oh, that's big. Oh my. Okay, we're we're gonna get some more air. I gotta say, I really love the look of going up to the surface from deep under when it's uh, light out. It's so pretty. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're we're trying here. Okay. All right down to this 
massive bit of wreckage. I think this is the biggest bit of wreckage we found that isn't actually part of the Aurora proper. Well, you know, the the uh, main thing. Can we can we go in? No. Boo. Okay. Fine. Uh, what about down here? Let's search around down here, see what we can find. Maybe we'll find more of- oh, laser cutter things? What are you? An egg? Uh, no, I don't think we want that right now. I don't think we have a purpose for that right now. I did see something about an aquarium, but we have no habitat built at this point. too far down. Uh, we won't risk it. We'll head up, get more air, come back down again. We really are getting kind of to the edges of, you know, our oxygen capacity at this point, so finding more of that sea moth would be great too. Sea moth, sea moth, whatever you call it. All right. Back down we go, we'll finish checking around the outside, and then we'll see if there's uh, anything inside we can get to without completely, uh, you know, being risky. As we saw what happened last time, I did not pay attention. Passing 100 meters. Okay. Oxygen efficiency <laughs> decreased. Why? Ooh! <gasps> what are you? Battery charger? Yes! Yes, please. Okay. Ooh. What else have we got? <gasps> Ooh! That looks... scannable. <gasps> yes! More Seema. Is something trying to eat me? Oh! What are you- Yes, something is trying to eat me. Good grief. Okay. Back up. Ugh. <laughs> There's so many things that want to eat me out here. Why? Why does everything want to eat me? How dare it. And it said something about there being a cave system in here as well. We should probably make another beacon at some point and bring that out here before looking for said caves. Because it is not obvious, it is not uh, obvious as to where it is, just from peering around, so just to make it easier to find. I should probably bring another out here before seriously looking for it. Anything else in here? No? Oh shoot, you little freaky things. Oh god. Let's let's scan you while you're trying to bite my face off. Why not? Yeah. Oh, it's appropriately named a biter. Of course it is. Of course it is. What else would it be called? Okay. Oh golly, go away! I am not dinner. I assure you. Or at least I don't wish to be. I suppose I'm fully capable of becoming dinner at this point. What is that? Oh, it's more salvage. Okay, I don't need that right now. I've got a lot of titanium. I will probably be needing it in the near future, but... Oh, shoot. Getting low again. Yeah, I really want that mini-sub. Because that will make all of this so much easier. Seconds. Yes, I hear you. We've got more electric sparkies. Uh, oh! That looks scannable. 
Oh, there's all sorts of stuff that looks scan over right here. Passing 100 meters. Yeah. Oxygen efficiency Scanner decreased. room fragment number two. Okay. There's that other little bit that I saw. Ah, what are you? More scanner room. Yay! Ooh! Very nice. Print acquired. Which is this? Are you more Seamoth? Yes! We still need this scanner. Not scanner, uh. Cutting the What are you? Just getting distracted again. We can scan him later. Right now, I'm trying to find a way inside this thing. Focus. Focus, focus. <gasps> 30 seconds. Oh, shoot. Yeah, go. Come on. Come on. I don't want to die out here again. Por favor. Ah. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oxygen. I, I know. I know, lady. I heard you. Okay. Now, I thought I saw what looked like something we could pry open. That's further down. Of course it's further down. Oh! That looks scannable. We'll have to come back and look at that in a moment as well. Ah! There you are. Can we? No. I was wrong. It is not enterable. I think the only way in is that door up there, but we can't seem to open it. We probably need that laser cutter thingy. That's the creature egg again. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen yeah, 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 yeah. efficiency decreased. Ooh. Is there something in there? Oh! <gasps> Laser cutter! Laser cutter! Come on. Eee. Okay. We need another. At least. It looks like we need three. Ah. Uh... Eh. Back up. Come on, we need one more laser cutter fragment. That would be such a good way to end. By getting the laser cutters that we would be able to... Yeah, if we could go back and get the laser cutter and the propulsion cannon before ending for the day, that would be awesome. Maybe there's something out further this way? That looks more... A bioreactor! There's just... Just... Well, alright then. Just one piece? Sure, why not? Yeah, sure. That sounds good. We already checked here. That's salvage. Eh, we can pick up one piece. Oh, shoot! What on the... Ah, oh, that's another one of those. Ah. Knock on little ankle biters. Almost literally, in this case. Ooh, more silver. We can always use that. Ah. Did we get this little thingy over here? I think we did. That might have been where we found the first fragment. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen yes, I know, ma'am. I'm aware. Yeah. It's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Ah, we gotta go up again. Maybe I should have uh, built one of those uh, tubey mabobbers. Why you don't like swimming in lakes? No idea what lies just below the water. Oh my gosh, yes. 
I don't like water that I can't see the bottom of. I'm not even a big beach person because of that. I love water. I love the concept of the ocean. I find it fascinating, but I am terrified of it at the same time. So, of course, I'm playing a game about, you know, a planet that's 98% water. <laughs> Where you can easily get stuck in little caves and uh, find yourself in a watery grave. Come on now, there must be another fragment of this thing somewhere around here. What am I missing? Why do you want to bet it's like... No, it wouldn't be inside of there, because I think you need the cutter to get in there in the first place. That's a cave entrance. Oh, and that's a sand shark. Let's just kind of... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe? Oh, could it be? Is this the last piece? Yes! Oh, we good, guys. We'll, we'll check this just really quick. Just a quick peek. Because I went... Oh, I can't scan these. Oh, dear. And we're about to die. Thirty seconds. Oh, no. Did I fly too close to the sun again? Or too close to the... I don't know, whatever. You have found out what a jellyfish tentacle feels like when it brushed against your leg in Galveston. Oh! oh. That sounds highly pleasant. Based on my somewhat limited knowledge of such things, that sounds like a big nope. Oh golly, there's another one of those. That one's flying pretty low, ain't it? Okay, so this is right at the back of that rather sizable wreck. I don't believe we have anything. <gasps> Just passing 100 okay. meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What? Oh, I want to explore this. Oh. <gasps> Cool. We don't have enough oxygen. Doggone it. Okay, yeah, we, we need the Seamoth. Like, staff. Seamoth. We need the Polkishin Cannon, the Laser Cutter. I got quite the laundry list. We need to go back. Oh, and the, um... Sea Glide. We need to make that, too. Although the Seamoth might be... No, I think we want the Sea Glide, too. So I think that one's handheld. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. And the other one is when you get into... So... Theoretically using both together in order to propel yourself quickly around outside of the Sigma, would potentially be a good idea. Potentially. Ow. Ow, my feet are popping. Why? grab a couple more of these on the way back just to make sure we have enough stuff to make lubricant for the mechanical thingies so we've got a few mechanical type things to make Ooh. 
Are you something I can scan? Oh, no, I don't want to. There we go. Yes, we can. Ooh. Very pretty. But then I... That may be part of the reason I like this game. There's so many greens, purples, and blues, which are all my favorite colors, so... And, like, pinks. I like pinks, too. And black. Alright. Up we go. Ooh. Okay. We have survived. What have we got in our inventory right now? Okay. We've got some stuff that needs breaking down. We'll start with that. Go ahead and make some more... Make some of the lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. Power plants. Interesting. I've got so much of this engine lubricant. Oh my gosh. Okay, alright. We have seen an end to the endless supply. Okay. Then make more glass. Okay. Deployables. Mobile vehicle bay. Oh, I'll bet we'll have to make that before we can make the, um, Seamoth. So, that's something to keep in mind. Compass. Oh, that could be handy. Radiation suit we already have. Rebreather would also be nice. Absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Hmm. Yeah, we may do that too. What else are we gonna do? Oh, I don't have... Hold on. Let's go ahead and see what we need for... <clears throat> ah, laser cutter. Two diamonds. Same diamond. So we need diamonds, a battery, titanium, cave sulfur. We're good on the cave sulfur, battery, and titanium. We need diamonds. Maybe we can try out the cave system next time and maybe we'll find them there. Okay. Propulsion cannon, wiring kit, battery, titanium. That we can't do, because we have a wiring kit down here. Mm -hmm. Not this one. Where did I put you? Not there either? Oh my gosh, we've got another- oh my gosh. There it is! <clears throat> Iron kit. We've got more messages. So many things going on. Alright. Oh, actually first, before we do that, I want to turn this beacon to yellow so that I know I've visited it. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you that's... Well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Oh, and we can do the sea glide. Okay. Um... I'll need to make a note of that, that we need to do that when we come back in next time. Where is the... Is it in tools? Okay. Oh, I forgot the battery. <laughs> uh, of course I did. I should get the oh, copper wire while I'm at it. Because... I can, make, I can probably make the sea glide right about now as well. Oh, golly. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Yes, this is the one that has the copper wire. Okay. Copper 
copper wiring. What else did I forget? Batteries. We'll grab a couple just in case and I can always put one back because I can't remember if I needed to or not. Alright. Personal. Propulsion cannon. Yes. Very good. And then sea glide. Also, yes. Oh, that's sizable. The sea right. glide will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. Okay, so, all right. And then... All right, we're just about done here. Oh! Do we have another wiring kit hanging around and some fiber mesh? We might. Maybe we can make the rebreather before we go, too. Because I would like to have that for next time, because <laughs> I would like to extend my time underwater as much as possible. Sage the Protogen, hello again! Did I use both of those flat batteries? I did. Okay. Which of you has what I want? Not you. Do we have any more fiber mesh? I don't know that we do. I don't believe we do. We only... We have two silver. Which is what we need for the wiring kit. We just need... A little bit of mesh. So we can grab that really quick before we finish up for the day. That way we have the rebreather ready for next time. And I think I'll make one more beacon as well. Then, then we should be able to call it good. I think the other one might have been closer. Help forest number one, that is. Oops. All right. But this isn't too far. I think we just need like two or three. We'll do four just to be safe. Good that we're getting all this made right now because I have a feeling that whatever rendezvous point they're talking about will be coming through pretty soon because a lot of these messages have been coming through pretty quickly. before we go up. Grab two, because that's all we can carry at the moment. The one downside about some of this stuff is that it takes up a lot of space. We want a beacon. And we want... What do we want? Fiber mesh. Might as well do another. Save space. And then equipment. Wiring kit. Right. Okay. Ah! No! Alright, wiring kit. And... 
There it is. Rebreather. All right. Excellent. Okay, we just have to remember to put the radiation helmet back on when we go near the Aurora. Since we're doing some exploration, we need diamonds and... Golly, what else do we... I should write that down, actually. For next time... Diamonds... Cave supply... Life pod. Which number was it? Seventeen. And what was the other thing? The rendezvous point. Hopefully, I can read my chicken scratch writing next time. Need to look at Seamoth stuff. We need a power cell. I think that's the only thing we need. What do you need for a power cell? I think we have all the other stuff. Oh no, wait. We also need. Okay, we could make a. I think we could make the um, power cell. Problem is, I think we need that mobile. Whatever mobile vehicle thing? Mm. Oh, we've got all sorts of interesting base making stuff. Maybe we should get the uh, base making whatever the heck thing again. Uh, not again. Uh, when we start next time too. Titanium ingot lubricant power cell. Oh! I think we can make that. Maybe we can make that really quick before we head out, too. Hold on. Uh, battery. Are they in here, I think? Oh no, are we out of batteries? That would be sick. Oh no, we only have one left. Boom, we need more battery. Okay, so... Batteries, power cell. I think that's everything. So we'll write that down as our laundry list for next time. And now, put in here and save. All right, and we're gonna call it there for today. Uh, we made some pretty good progress. We made it all the way into the Aurora today, which is further than I expected to get. Uh, we saw a Reaper, managed not to aggro it, which is great. Saw it from a distance, which is how I prefer to see Reapers. What else did we do? We got a lot of the basic equipment, so all good stuff. And yeah, so... Until next time, fellow weary travelers, uh, good day, good night, good morning, dawn, dusk, evening, noon time, whatever time of day it is for you, and God be with you. Bye-bye, and thanks so much for joining. Um...